Hi everybody, welcome back to the storage site. Now we're up here today, we're just finished packing our items away, the food, the uh, clothes, etc. And we're almost ready to set off down the motorway, but I've just got to go outside and just check the tyre pressures, make sure the wheel nuts are nice and tight as well, and just do some safety checks outside. Now we're going to head off down the motorway today, we've got a good couple of hours journey ahead of us. And the question begs, what do you do if you have a puncher in your caravan? How can you protect yourself against it? You see, the point is, you're not actually going to know you've got a puncture in your caravan until the caravan starts misbehaving on the road, it's delaminating, it's causing a problem, maybe even rupturing some bodywork, or worse still, you're causing an accident whilst you're going down the road. Thankfully, there is a solution. There are tyre pressure monitoring systems. And this week, I was sent through a package from TirePal, who've asked me today to show you how quick and simple it is to add these clever little devices onto any caravan or motorhome and monitor your tires. So before we install it, let's go and have a look and see what's in the box. So right from the start, we got ourselves some instructions on how to set up, configure and maintain our sensors. We get our monitor, which will be fitted in the car. Now this model, which is the TC215B, comes with either two, four, six, eight, ten, 10 or 12 sensors, which means that you can monitor all of your motorhome or caravan tires and also your car tires at exactly the same time with just this one kit. And then underneath we've got some mounting options, suction cups, etc. We've also got a charge lead as well to keep the thing charged up. And then we've got some other devices here to help with the installation. So we've got nuts and washers. We've got some waterproof caps as well. And then we've got some devices here to help with maintaining and replacing the battery in the sensors if we need to in the future. And then to help install and to help get them off in the case of we need to get them off, we've got some fitting tools here as well. So installation couldn't be easier. All we need to do is switch the device on. And as you can see, we've got no tires registered with this device. So press and hold the code button. And then using the plus and minus buttons here, scroll through the correct location which is here and all we're going to do now is we're going to nip outside and just put the sensor on the tire so what we're going to do now is install the sensor and there are three components we need here there is a dust shield which we're going to install and this is quite a tight and a snug fit so be patient and the other thing we need to do as well is make sure it's inside out as well because this will be wrapped around the top of our sensor. Second thing we need to do is install a locking nut. And then finally, we attach the actual sensor itself. Okay, so now we've screwed the sensor on, you can see its ID is flashing here. And to save this location, we just press and hold the code button again. And there we go. So it's now telling me that that tire is at 56 PSI and the temperature is 33 degrees. Now what we need to do is repeat the process for the other side. Now you can see there here on the monitor, it's flashing each tire. And what that's telling us is that that is the temperature and the pressure of that tire. And that's the temperature and pressure of that tire. Now to prove that everything is working okay, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug one of the sensors from the tires and we should start to see some pressure warnings coming up. And there we go, we had two warnings coming up there at the bottom. We had a low pressure and we had a fast leak, which basically told us that we had an immediate problem with our tire. 
and you can see it's now back up to 56 psi and it's at 30 degrees this time so it's cooled down a little bit. Now our monitor here also enables us to set up the parameters of the low and the high pressure and the units that we actually measure in. So we can change from PSI to bar. We can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now our high pressure here for our trailer, um, you can change the parameters per axle. And what I'm going to change here is our high pressure to the maximum inflate pressure on our tire. So on our caravan, our tires are rated at 65 PSI. Our low pressure, I want to change that to 50 PSI. And we can do that just by pressing the plus and minus buttons on the monitor. And the high temperature, 70 degrees, seems absolutely fine to me. There we go guys, that's the installation now complete. Pretty simple stuff, I think you'll agree. It's literally a couple of button presses and uh, unscrewing and screwing on the sensors. So uh, no problems at all, anybody could do it. And you know what, for such a simple thing to do on a caravan, it's a great peace of mind as well. Now with these uh, sensors installed in the caravan, I'm gonna be able to identify when I've got a problem before it becomes serious. So I think it's well worth the money. Now the monitor, we've installed that into the car using the provided suction cup. As you can see here, what we've actually done is put it into the corner of the windscreen and it makes a really tidy and very neat little monitor. Now we're only going to keep this in the car for the period of us actually towing the caravan, so we're going to be able to put it away into the glove compartment when not in use. Now the sensors, the sensors themselves are pretty clever little devices. They will measure anything up to 99 PSI, which covers pretty much every caravan and motorhome configuration. They'll also be able to measure any pressures that you have in your car as well. They have a sleep mode in them, which basically means that if the caravan is stationary for any period of time, or motorhome in fact, their sensors literally go to sleep. They wake up when they move. So as the sensors rotate, they wake up and then they start transmitting the pressures and temperatures uh, for each tire. That means that the battery life is exponentially extended as well. And on batteries, the batteries themselves are watch batteries and they're very easy to replace and you should replace them probably after about two years. So that's worthwhile pointing out as well. Uh, that's it from us today guys, so any questions feel free to put them down below and uh, we'll try our best to answer them for you. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, take care now, bye bye.